What does the word dinosaur mean? The word dinosaur comes from the ancient Greek words dinos, meaning fearfully great, and soros, which means lizard. What are fossils? Fossils are the preserved remains of plants or animals, but for such remains to be considered fossils, scientists have decided they have to be over 10,000 years old. When did the first dinosaurs appear? No one can say with precision, but it's thought that the oldest dinosaur types are about 230 million years old. How were dinosaurs born? A female dinosaur would lay eggs, and a couple of months later, the eggs would hatch and a dinosaur would be born. What would dinosaur eggs look like? Dinosaur eggs varied in shapes and sizes, depending on the species. The eggs could be as long as 60 centimeters with a diameter of 20 centimeters. They could also have different shapes, since they could be round, oval, or even potato shaped. What did dinosaurs eat? Some dinosaurs ate lizards, turtles, eggs, or mammals. Some hunted other dinosaurs or scavenged dead animals. Most, however, just ate plants. Are dinosaurs reptiles or birds? Dinosaurs are neither birds nor reptiles. They are classified as dinosaurae. They could be said to be transitionary group between the birds and reptiles, just as amphibians are the evolutionary step between fish and reptiles. Where did dinosaurs live? Actually, dinosaurs lived on all, all of the continents, basically populating the whole planet. Were there any flying dinosaurs? Technically, there were not any flying dinosaurs, as reptiles that could fly were not officially classified as dinosaurs. Some species that are commonly mistaken to be flying dinosaurs include the pterodactyl, pterosaur, and pterodon. What is a triceratops? Triceratops were plant eaters, herbivores, which lived about 68 to 65 million years ago. To defend themselves against predators, they had two long brow horns. They could grow to be at least one meter or three feet long. Why did the Tyrannosaurus rex have such, such tiny arms? It seems that through evolution, the arms became less important as the Tyrannosaurus became larger. The skull became larger and more solidly built, suggesting that it was the primary attack method for hit and weight predation. Which was the largest dinosaur? Argentinosaurus was the lar largest seropod, whose size has been backed up by convincing evidence. This dinosaur measured about 120 feet from head to tail and may have weighed over 100 tons. What was the smallest dinosaur? Or? It would be the Microraptor a bird-like dinosaur discovered in China. This species was only 16 inches or 40 centimeters long. What was the average size of a di dinosaur? The average dinosaur was about as, as big as a car, although the popular conception of dinosaurs is that they were massive creatures that were mostly larger than an elephant. What was the smartest dinosaur? A 
A signature is a handwritten representation of name, which a person writes on documents as proof of his identity. Which was the dumbest dinosaur? The Stegosaurus had a brain the size of a walnut, only 3 centimeters long and weighed 75 grams. However, comparing brain size to body size Ceropotomorphs, like Platyosaurus, were probably one of the dumbest dinosaurs. Why did dinosaurs have such long tails? Dinosaurs had long tails for balance which are specifically useful when they would move at high speed. Some dinosaurs, like the Ankylosaurus, had clubs on their tails to protect them, while Stegosaurus had spikes. Which was the fastest running dinosaur? The fastest dinosaurs were probably the ostrich mimic, Ornithomimids. They ran at at least 25 miles per hour, from estimates based on footprints in mud. How long did dinosaurs live on Earth? Dinosaurs lived on Earth for over 160 million years. When was the first dinosaur bone discovered? The first known dinosaur bone was part of a knee joint found in the year 1685. Which is the oldest dinosaur? The oldest one discovered is the Proceropods from Madagascar, which was about 230 million years old. Why do dinosaurs look so weird? Dinosaurs were around for millions of years. During that time, the Earth was different, and they changed to suit its environment and conditions. Horns, plates, thorns, spines, long necks, claws, each of these served a purpose for that dinosaur back then. Which dinosaur had more teeth? Hadrosaurs were characterized by their, by their thick, squat torsos massive, inflexible tails, and tough beaks and numerous cheek teeth, up to a thousand in some species, designed for breaking down tough vegetation. What is a paleontologist? A paleontologist is the person who stu studies prehistoric life, including dinosaurs, through fossil evidence and sciences. Was the pterosaur a dinosaur? No, pterosaurs were reptiles, but dinosaurs and pterosaurs are certainly closely related. How did dinosaurs go extinct? Dinosaurs became extinct about 65 million years ago, at the end of the Cretaceous period, but there was no evidence on how it did happen, although there are three main theories. A large meteor hit the Earth, lots of volcanic eruptions, or climate changes. Did people and dinosaurs live at the same time? No, only after nearly 65 million years after dinosaur extinction, people appeared on Earth. What is the longest dinosaur name? The dinosaur with the longest name is, is the Micropachycephalosaurus, meaning tiny, thick-headed lizard. What colors were dinosaurs? Paleontologists think that some dinosaurs likely had protective coloration, such as pale undersides to reduce shadows, and irregular color patterns to make them less visible in vegetation. While those dinosaurs who had enough armor may not have needed protective coloration, but may have been brightly colored as a warning to predators. Most dinosaurs probably were brightly colored as modern lizards, snakes, or birds. How many different dinosaurs have been discovered?
Approximately 700 species have been named. However, a recent scientific review suggests that only about half of these are based on fairly complete specimens that can be shown to be unique and separate species.